finest professional wrestling from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic region, Capital Wrestling. I am sick of people like poor Siobhan who use their politics as a weapon. Sick of people who half-ass everything they do and sit on the corner and scream and shout. Jeff Cannibal is not about that. Jeff Cannibal is here for a fight. Jeff Cannibal is here for direct action. You see, poor Siobhan, you sit on the shelves inside the buildings and pretend you do something different, but I am outside burning those buildings down. And Mick Drake, tonight, you're getting burnt. lawyer who will fight for you, EDA Law will go off the top rope for you and your needs. Pro wrestling veteran Eric Anderson has brought his no-nonsense approach from the ring to the courtroom. The New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, 20-year veteran, and his team focus on business law, criminal defense, and representing members of the pro wrestling industry. For more information, head to edalaw.com. That's edalaw.com. EDA Law. Those in the law who wrestled know how to wrestle with the law. A, a hell of a bout between Jeff Cannonball and uh, Mick, course, Drake. Mick Drake from Luxury Muscles Incorporated. A big challenge for Mick Drake as a solo New competitor Ridge, here on New Capital Jersey, Wrestling. With an official weight of 300. 30 pounds, the death match begin. Jeff Cannonball! The last to die himself, Jeff Cannonball, back here in the Capitol, returning after his, the hey, after the friends of Tom and Juba taking a loss at anniversary. Well, I mean, they were hoping for a better result, but unfortunately, I mean, it was just too much. It was an insane fight, another uh, bizarre brawl, but now he has to match up against a true athletic competitor in Mick Drake. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. The dagger, Mick Drake, being accompanied by the feminist Portia Vaughn. Accompanied the to the ring by Portia Vaughn and Capital Wrestling Women's Champion, Rick Nix. Fighting out of New York, New York, with an official weight of 243 pounds, the dagger, Mick Drake. Of course, the dagger, Mick Drake, mentioning Ariella Nix, the, uh, the newly Capital crowned, Wrestling. Newly crowned women's champion. Tournament in the Isle of Malta. Where is that aisle? I mean, next to Truth or Consequences? This is a trigger warning for all you cisgendered, uneducated males here tonight. Yes, yeah, Stephen. It's a trigger warning. I am the hashtag feminist. That feminist activist, Portia Vaughn. Now, I know when you hear feminist, you think of great icons. Like Gloria Steinem, Lena Dunham, and Hillary Rodham Clinton. But I am here to show you the new faces of feminism. First, a modern day Athena, someone who conquered Athens to become your Capital Wrestling Women's Champion and the answer to your prayers, Ariella Nix. Well, she does As know Jeff Campbell. To the evolved 
gentleman you see before you, who is not only stronger mentally, he's stronger physically, and most importantly, he is stronger emotionally, because he knows to place his faith in the superior gender, which will bring him to victory. The crowd here at Hoboken, not appreciating the sentiments here. Know that we have to go high when you go low. But sometimes we know we have to sink to your level in order to keep you beneath us where you belong. And these, these misogynists here at Hobo can show no respect, just like, oh wow, Jeff Cannonball. Not waiting. He this is underway. Enough. Mick Drake taking a cheap shot on Jeff Cannonball. That's not the man you want to go because, well, Mick Drake is a. If, if Mick's not careful, he's going to go from being woke to knock out. Well, Mick Drake is an impressive specimen. One, two. The levels of pain that Jeff Cannonball can endure, the amount of battles he's had here in the Capitol alone, That's it's going to be a hard, a hard hill to climb here for the dagger. Very quickly. And wait a minute. On the outside is poor Siobhan holding on to the leg of Jeff Cannonball. It's Mick Drake. Oh, Drake seizing a moment there to just clothesline Jeff, Jeff Cannonball, now taking advantage, and that's where the team comes together as a team. See, again, behind every great man, there's an even greater woman pushing him farther, and that's what Portia Vaughn is doing on the outside, the feminist Portia Vaughn. And again to the stomach. And now Mick Drake in full control here, hoping to teach a lesson here to Jeff Cannonball about, uh, about suffrage and women's rights. Slam. Ooh, but Looking to lift Jeff Cannonball is going to need a little bit more there. Close line. Jeff Cannonball setting it up. Now driving that big frame into Mick Drake. And it's going to take uh, more than some signs to, to stop Cannonball. Ooh. Nice of, super kick. Of course, as we know, through Capital Wrestling social media, Mick Drake missed his recently scheduled match against Chuck Payne due to a, quote, channel your feminine side retreat in Key Largo? Yeah, absolutely. You should go, Steven. It's all the rage, you know. It, 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 it lets you know. It gets you in touch with your feminine side. There's nothing wrong with being in touch with your feminine side. There's you know? nothing wrong at all. Cover one, two, I don't need a retreat well, for that. Well, they won't let you in the retreat. First, they gotta shave that Neanderthal beard off you. You look like a caveman. You represent everything that's wrong with the patriarchy, Stephen. Okay, okay, Mick Drake has a beard. Yeah, but it's nice and kempt. It's a well-kempt beard. Yours looks like it could get stuck in an engine block. Mick Drake Second. stalking Jeff Cannonball here. Standing drop kick. Look at the elevation there. And look at and applauding is the women's champion, the newly crowned women's champion, Ariella Nix after winning that tournament in the Isle who, of Malta. Who, who else was in that tournament? Oh, a lot of the best women in the industry. Uh, Cover one, two. I would list them, but I'm busy focusing on this match right here and right now, Steven. Two count only, how convenient. As the dagger, Mick Drake, in control here. I mean, some of the best, uh, some of the best women on the independent scene were out there. Uh, in uh, Athens. Allegedly yeah. not. See, you don't even know where it is. The Isle of Malta. The Isle of Malta. Isn't that near Athens? I get them confused. The point Athens is, adjacent? The point is, I'll tell you where the belt is. Oh, and Cannonball throwing, oh. throwing Mick Drake I'll across the, the ring. The belt is right around her waist, and that's all that matters. So. Close line. And another. Duck underneath. Shaking and baking his Cannonball with those fists. Juking and Jive and setting up shades of Dusty Rhodes, and a perhaps. Kick, kick to the stomach. Quick desperation by Mick Drake, the dagger. Bionic elbow. Shades of the dream. Cover one, two, two count only. And Jeff Cannibal trying to get, get all the momentum back. He had a rough 2017. Trying to get his vengeance on the uh, apostles of chaos, and he didn't. He came up very short with that. 
Portia oh, no. Vaughn. Hey, how dare you? That is despicable. Get your hands off her. That's a woman. You don't ever touch a woman. If you want to get involved in some way, ringside's not the place. And look, Jeff Cannonball going for a cannonball splash gets, in the corner. And he gets what he deserves for not being able to just use his words. Saved by the women's champ, Ariella Nix. King, he can't get him. German suplex takes him down. Cover. One, two, three. You got to be kidding me. Here is your winner, McDrain. And the bigger winner, Femivism. Femivism? Yeah, feminist activism. Femivism. Feminism, femivism, activism. Point is. Drake is focused and ready behind the tutelage of the Femivism. What is next for Femivists worldwide? With the power of Portia Vaughn and the women's champion, Ariella Nix. All right, so what you're gonna do is you gotta take your hot dog and you're gonna hit this cord right here, ready? That's the opening chord of the Ronnie Burton song. Okay. Yeah? No, not like that, not like that, like this. I did that. Yeah, do it again. Right. There you go. Yeah! So then we got this, ready? You got that part? I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right, so put it all together. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we got it. Now we got to do the headbang. Ready? Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, so this is how we get it. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Okay. Now that's heavy metal. Rock dogs. Rock dogs. Let's get it. Hoboken, New Jersey, July 14th, Capital Wrestling returns to the Capitol Auditorium for the feel-good hit of the summer, Torneo de Nada. On this night, Matt Tremont makes his Capital Wrestling debut against MB Young. History shall be made as the newly christened Capital Wrestling Women's Championship will be defended when the champ, Ariella Nix, takes on Kareem Mink. The first ever Torneo de Nada takes place with the winner of this tournament receiving a shot at the Sapphire television title. All great sagas must have an end as the colossal Mike Law takes on the NRA zone, Bo Crockett. Will Mike Law cancel the Bo show or will Crockett and Miss Christine ride off into the sunset? Former rivals Matt McIntosh, Anthony Gangone, and a returning Sonny Kiss team up against a trio of titans in the form of Darius Carter, Paul Jordan, and the Benfo Mofo. July 14th, Hoboken, New Jersey, Capital Wrestling presents Torneo de Nada. Do you wonder how Donald Trump rose from TV celebrity to United States president? If you like the guts and glamour of professional wrestling, unbiased reporting, and a refreshing, lighthearted take on modern politics, then you'll love best-selling author Lavi Margolin's body-slamming biography, Trump Mania. Through Margolin's ringside analysis, you'll catch a revealing new look into the character of the president and the current landscape of American politics. Read Trump Mania, now available on Amazon.com. In need of a lawyer who will fight for you, EDA Law will go off the top rope for you and your needs. Pro wrestling veteran Eric Anderson has brought his no-nonsense approach from the ring to the courtroom. The New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, 20-year veteran, and his team focus on business law, criminal defense, and representing members of the pro wrestling industry. For more information, head to edalaw.com. That's edalaw.com. EDA Law. Those in the law who wrestled know how to wrestle with the law. On July 14th, Capital Wrestling is returning to Hoboken, New Jersey. I'm inviting all of you wrestling fans to come down to the Capitol. Hey, 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 hey. What, uh, what's going on? 
Um, what's up, Candice? How you doing, Candice? That, I'm, I'm, um, I'm Brandon. I like what you've done with your hair. Yeah, it's really you, nice. Nice, nice look, Candice. Nice tie, too, Candice. You like tie? You wear ties, uh, Candice? Should do a little bit. Thank you, but, but that's not yeah. my... <laughs> yeah. what, what are you guys doing here? What do you want? What... Well, uh, funny you should ask, Candice, because we're kind of so like the uncrowned champions of uh, this here Capital Wrestling, and uh, I feel a little bit sided. I feel like, you know, we haven't got the match that we deserve. Uncrowned you know, champions. Not, not, not only that, but um, let's take a look. Capital has the wherewithal to get a whole new backdrop, mm. but doesn't think to put us in a tag team title match on this show or on the next show. How long have you been here? Since the beginning, since beginning. the very first episode. You know that, Candice. Well, well, I have You've been here. doing your homework, right? You've been watching? Yes, I, I have been watching. And since I've been watching, Candace you've been talking it's about... Hot. It's getting hot, brother. You've mm -hmm. been talking about a he. You've had a whole change of attitude. Oh. I don't understand what's going on. Who is he? Listen, listen, you're too new to be asking personal questions like that. Listen, Candice. Way too new. I don't understand what's wrong with you, no. but uh, we, you know, we got business to take care of. So, uh, you want... You wanna go? Yeah, we have uh, we have some matches to win. Yeah. Um nice hot time, dog and a rock god. Ho ho! Oh, oh I'm oh. hungry. Let's go get some hot dog. Mm. I'm not a fan. The perfect strangers, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the fabulous finish of the week, sponsored by To Be the Man. German suplex with a release to poop. Oh, a neck breaker. Neck breaker there. Oh no. Whoa, wow. This is this Kicked is a kick, over. But not with that one. Watch popping. That was the fabulous finish sponsored by To Be The Man. Available on Amazon.com. And again, the perfect strangers. A new demeanor, a new attitude. And I'll be honest with you, I like it. I like where it's going. And we're gonna see what they're gonna do versus Ronnie Burton and his tag team partner. Hot dog? Ronnie Martin and Hot Dog Starks looking to pick up a victory here. Let's see what happens. Wait, his partner's a hot dog. He's a hot dog. Ah, oh, you got it. All right, look at this. You stop dancing. I Just will stop. not stop dancing. It's the Hot Dog Man from Hot Dog Land getting into it with some fans. The See, that's how you dance. The buns are on fire here. This is ridiculous. That referee's supposed to be impartial. I don't know. He it's kind of a catchy too. Stop dancing. You keep bumping into me and I keep losing my notes. You have no soul. And introducing his tag team partner. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Are you kidding me with this? An unlikely duo here. It's a full-on concert. The Rock God, look, look at the moves. Hot Dog's joining in. They're shredding. I've heard of Air Guitar before, but Air Hot Dog? Look at him shred on that wiener. Right. It's a hot dog. B.B. King would be rolling in his grave. B.B. King would say this is delicious. You delicious, ridiculous. Yeah, no, I know. B. I can't. I don't understand what I'm seeing. Listen, this is on Ronnie Burke. If this is who he wants to team up with, that's his business. But I... And the fans loving Ronnie Burke. That's great, but at some point, this guy's got to get in there and wrestle. Hot Dog Starks. Getting all the love here. I never thought I could hate Ronnie Burton's guitar solos more, but he found a way to do it. So what do you congrats. Mean? It's, not, it's not congrats, a solo. Ronnie. It's not a solo. He's playing with Hot Dog. Don't you see? Congrats, Ronnie. You now have the second most annoying entrance in all of Capital Wrestling. Wait, you don't hear? You don't hear those notes? One guy's playing an electric guitar. Those harmonies, yeah. The other guy is strumming a Hot Dog. 
you've got to relish the harmonies. He is from south of Stop heaven with, the puns. Stop with an with official the puns. weight of 240 pounds. The metal god, Ronnie Burton. You know, this is a guy who has all the potential in the world. Uh, a former student of, of, uh, of Seth Rollins' Black and Brave Academy, and this is what he chooses to do, to team up with a hot dog. But I'll tell you this, two people who I do like, with a new attitude, a new demeanor, I'm starting to like these perfect strangers. They're coming to realize, look at this, the entrance. No more. Will Andros the Greek and Marcus Marquis be held down? Serious men on serious business. Demeanor has changed. The mood has changed. And I say, I, 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 I say good for them. I can, I, I can speak for the rest of the Capital Wrestling audience. I don't know what to make of these two now. These used to be bastions of what is good in Capital Wrestling. Fighting out of Queens, New York, and Athens, Greece, respectively, with a total combined weight of 380 pounds. Marcus Marquis, Andros the Greek, the perfect stranger. TPS, the perfect strangers, having a little bit of difficulty in Capital Wrestling until TBS stole their first tag team victory against the Danger Sanctuary. And that's where the momentum started to change for them, Steven. And now they are in the right direction. They have the right mindset. They're taking this seriously. And that's a lot more I can say for them than for Ronnie Burton, whose tag team partner is a hot dog. He's a, he's a hot dog. What's wrong with hot dogs? Uh, would you want your tag team partner to be a hot dog? A of sandwich. course. What happened? Did he pass on the uh, hoagie? Look, the man, this, this is America. And a man can choose to be a hot dog if he damn well pleases. A wrestling hot dog. Yeah, no, he can choose. He, he has the right legally. I can't believe I'm saying this, to dress up as a hot dog. He's not, what do you mean dress? He is a hot dog. That is a hot dog come to life. I don't know what the hell's going on. When did you, when did you lose your sense of magic? Of wonder? Of whimsy? This is professional wrestling. This is the type of crap that Jim Cornette is talking about. We are underway here as this Hot Dog Starks and, never happen and Marcus Marquis. And look at him rubbing in the mustard, feeling it, feeling spicy tonight. Is that Honey Dijon? Oh, nice kick to the stomach. And Marcus Marquis is not here to play, let's be honest. Gets him up. The dog is too slippery. Ducks underneath. Look at the agility of Hot Dogs on a roll. Underneath. Him. I will give him credit. He is a lot more athletic than I thought a Hot Dog would be. Cover. Putting the weight of that one metric bun on Marcus Marquis. Tagged in Ronnie Burton. What? It's been a hard, it's been a hard couple of weeks here, Captain Rusty, between my friend Matthew Rush here being in the hospital. Can we roll that again, that clip? Stop, what are you stop sending it to me first of all. Ronnie Burton whipping. Strong Ronnie Irish whip. Me. Running bulldog. Between that and Junior becoming. It's just been a, it's just been a hard couple of weeks and this is not helping. Punch is not helping. And I said punch with a P. Now finally Ronnie Burton. The Gets Marcus Marquis up for a suplex. Look at the strength and power. Down goes Marquis. Look for cover. One, two, two count only. And again, you look at the power, the strength of a guy like that. It just makes you want to question his sanity and why he's top of his partner. But at this point, I guess maybe he's desperate. Maybe people don't want to team up with Ronnie Burton anymore. After all, his own classmates turned on him, the Black and the Brave. As we saw just a few weeks ago, the Black and the Brave, Xander Killen and Eddie Machete turning on their former brother, Ronnie Burton, but Hot Dog's gonna fly. What's up? Hot Dog's on a roll again. Oh, Look at that. 
face with his uh, hot dog. The bun is stale. He's a little stale. He's got to shake off, shake off the rust. Oh, and finally, Andrews. Russian leg sweep with a modified clothesline there. Impressive offense from Marquis. They are perfect strangers in Damo. Man, he's been a couple of several years here. A great tag team that had a bit of a bad start here at Capital Wrestling. A bad start indeed, but under the tutelage of someone that they keep referring to as he. Whoever he is, he has done a great job. One count only. One count only. You can see the difference in the fluidity of them together as a tag team. The, ooh, wow. How Andros smart. the Greek stepping outside the rules there. Burton, the groin muscle now, of Ronnie Burton. Ronnie Burton should not have been entering into the ring. That's on him. And now they're taking full advantage. A little bit of an Irish whip and another European uppercut. Another one. Crescent with a, kick with a right on the button. Shock. They're starting to call the culture shock and quickly. Mark one, two, two count only. It's always a difficult situation when you go into a tag team match with somebody who you've never teamed with before. It's even more difficult when that person is a hot dog. I, I will say this about the Perfect Strangers. They've always been one of my favorite tag teams. They've always had everything it takes to get to the next level. I don't know if this attitude change is going to pay off here. Well, we appreciate them so far because they are in sync right now in a way that I haven't seen in several years. Like I said, they've been together for several years. And you can see, look at just look at the technique. kind of tired of the shenanigans. But look at the position of the Marcus Martin. He's got the front face lock, but he's got Hot Dog facing away from his own corner, so he can't get the tag. He has to go through Marcus to get the tag. And as much fun and games as he's had so far, Marcus is going to Hot Dog making a push. So close. Marcus Marquis knocking Ronnie Burton off the apron. And that's part of the new attitude change, the new demeanor for these two. The plump stunner, that ace crusher, tag made. Shoulder tackle by Burton, catches Andros the Greek. Again, the belly to belly suplex there. The amazing power of Ronnie Burton. It can't be understated. Overstated, excuse me. Uh -oh. Getting him up on his back, what's he looking for here? Not a position. Going up top, looking for the rock drop. The second rope. For whom the bell tolls here, it might toll for Andros the Greek. Down, looking for the cover. Cover, one, two. Marcus Marquis there to break it up. This match means even, this match means a lot to both. Oh, there he goes. And Ronnie Burton sends Marquis to the outside. And the fans getting behind Ronnie Burton here. Tag is made. And the hot dog is back in the ring. And Jim Cornette is setting up for it. Uh -oh, Looking for the most electrifying move in all of food service. That smart. Ooh, a quick strike from Hot Dog, but the damage is already done. Wait a minute, on the outside. What's going on there? Xander Killen. Oh. And Eddie Machete attacking Ronnie Burton with a chair on the outside. This match is still going on. Well, I guess they just wanted a better seat. And the issue between these two men. Look at that. And Eddie Machete, he just wanted a better seat. There it is, that culture shock that you referred to. Cover one, two, not like this, three. Here are your winners, the Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers, you have to give an assist.
to Eddie Machete and Xander Killer who attacked Ronnie Burton with that chair on the outside. He just wanted a better seat, as you can see, and Ronnie Burton was in his way, so he took it into his own hands. But the important part here is that the perfect strangers are on yet another roll, as you would put it if you want to do a pun. And what are they still doing here? They're just enjoying the show like everybody else. Perfect strangers being guided by he. Who he is, we don't know, but all we do know is that they are a team to be reckoned with here in the Capital Wrestling Tag Team Division. But more importantly, Ronnie Burton finally coming to over here, but I don't even know if he understands fully what's happened here. Oh, and Eddie Machete directing oh. traffic to Xander Killen again on Ronnie Burton. And the only thing Hot Dog can do hot dog. But again, Ronnie Burton, this is what you get. These are the choices you make. Wait, no, no. Oh, right over the wow. back of Ronnie Burton goes that chair. God. Hey, and he passes it over to Killian. Why shouldn't he get a nice opportunity? Perhaps setting up for it. Oh, right to the throat. And the black and brave. Working him over. Black oh, we, we've seen this oh before. God. No, we've seen this before. Oh, what's it gonna be? Is he going for it? Yeah, I think he is. Eddie Machete. Is. This is a lesson. This is a lesson. Eddie Machete saying grab the guitar. Possession. What are they going to do with that? Where are the officials here? Would you want to step in the middle of this, Steve? Why you go Someone's got to get out here. Oh, Ronnie Burton's prized possession. Oh, no, they're going to go for a, are they going for a, a blackout. Oh, no. And here it comes. No. Setting it up. Oh, no. And the blackout shades of their mentor. Right on that guitar. Someone's got to get out here. I warned you it would happen. Oh, and look how despicable Xander Killen and Eddie Machete are on the outside. Oh, insult to injury, choking him. The black and brave, they're not done. This is personal, Steven. This is beyond just business. This is beyond just wrestling. This is personal. I don't know what Ronnie Burton did to deserve this, but he must have done something. Because he's covered from that. And Hot Dog trying to, trying to come to here. Trying to help out his tag team partner. What does this mean for Ronnie Burton going forward? What does this mean for July 14th? As Ronnie Burton once again, victim of a brutal attack by Xander Killen and Eddie Machete. Machete Killen on top again.